Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Let's get into this. So, who are we choosing from this time around? Smoke Drinker, Chaos Blade, and Dark Spawn. So, we'll just do a quick assessment of these guys. Damage and health seems pretty similar on all these guys. Uh, we've got Smoke Drinker over here with our lowest health. He has a crossbow, so ranged weapon. Uh, iron Foot on everybody but Dark Spawn. And in terms of activatable abilities, Shield and Dwarf Turret, Arrow and Dwarf Turret, Fast Strike and Death Puppet. I had a lot of fun with uh, Death Puppet last time, but uh, I think we're going to go with Chaos Blade. I'd like to try out Dwarf Turret. I believe that's one of the ones we got last episode. See what it's all about, see how it plays, and uh, hopefully make a little more progress. We've got 302 gold, so I think we've got to invest in something here. So we're going to invest in a little bit of blacksmith. And we might as well invest in a little bit of apothecary for some extra health. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for now. So let's jump, let's delve. Here we go. All right, into the goblin forest. Uh, spawn two enemies, gain a key. Uh, I see a couple of peace orbs over here. I'm tempted to go for them, but, uh, you know, I like keys. Keys are a very good thing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, say goodbye or bid adieu to our pacifist run right off the bat. In favor of some keys, what do we have here? The power of flight for five gold. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Uh, we got a key over there, so let's snag that. And of course, you know our strategy, once our pacifist run is gone, once we're no longer collecting peace orbs, uh, you might as well just go ahead and kill everything you can, spawn all the enemies you can, and collect all the XP and gold that you can. I uh, don't really want to free this wizard. In general, the wizard is somewhat useful, in my opinion, but uh, I find myself having more difficulty with the wizard than uh, actually having help from him. You know, he shields you, which is nice, but for the most part, I think he just messes up my flow, uh, which is true of a lot of these characters that, that you add. They, you know, they rush ahead, they, they mess stuff up in general, uh, but, you know, generally speaking, most of them are useful, so it's, it's almost always a good idea to free one if you have an abundance of keys. So maybe I'm now talking myself into <laughs> freeing that wizard. Luckily, I can't get back up to free him, so I don't even have to second-guess myself. we got a couple of chests here. Perhaps that's a better use of keys. Uh, four enemies and two gems. I'll do that in a second. More enemies for us to murder and more gems to fill our pocketbook. Now we'll go ahead and open that and might as well open that as well. So, big money run so far. I'm really, really liking where we are cash-wise on this run, so no complaints there. Uh, let's try out that old dwarf turret. Uh, let's see how that goes. Oh my goodness, it's brilliant. Look at him go. And we managed to free a ranger in the process. That is potentially one of the most effective active abilities that we have ever unleashed. And he blew up at the end, wow. Yeah, I can see why you only have two of those. Absolutely. So uh, let's take a quick trip up here to the Resto Shrine and get our other turret back. And we're off into the Autumn Forest. Let's see, anything going on here? Nope. Shrine of Health, no thank you. Luckily, no fire. This is the level that generally turns into a fire variant, and I am happy, happy, happy that we're not seeing fire because it does almost always kill me. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn here because I feel like my pacifist run is pretty much at an end. So I'm just going to kind of give up the ghost here and uh, just go ahead and say goodbye to it in style. So I still don't have enough damage, really. I, I like to be killing the second level guys with one hit. I prefer to be. Of course, I'd like to, uh, but I prefer to be. That would tell me something about the, the overall strength of my character uh, if I were killing these guys in uh, a single hit. And what, what it's telling me actually is is uh, somewhat desperate. It means that I am not, in fact, powerful enough to do that, and therefore I am pretty sad. Oh, look, there's a raven. Yeah, I could kill that raven. He's, like, right here. 
for once the raven didn't kill me. Uh, oh, I've got to defeat three ravens. I see. So you killed a raven, but in order to impress you, I need to kill three ravens. Uh, two keys is not worth it to get down there and uh, then pay 100 gold to unlock a checkpoint. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> the math don't work out. So I'm nearly killing those average uh, red goblin enemies in one hit, uh, but I want to be killing them every single time in one hit. So I think the next trip that we take uh, to one of our merchants, oh, right on the spikes, that was timely. That was great. Uh, one of the next uh, things we're going to purchase is a little more damage. Uh, I really want to be getting through the first two to three levels uh, with little or no problem in terms of the enemies. And uh, I think I'm going to need more damage if I want to do that. So uh, we'll warp back up and turn in our three raven quest to that uh, scar-eyed gentleman over here. And we're going to increase our damage. Sure. I like increased damage. And we'll take this opportunity to go down the other side of the map and pick up a couple coins that we did miss while we were down here. And we might as well kill that gentleman as well. Get a level up. I'm going to do a little bit of avoidance here. I'm going to just try to stop taking very much damage. Oh, we've got a nice... Uh, oh, you, you shoot homing arrows. I forgot about you. Uh, we've got a nice trait. Power. Okay. Uh, I really need traits. All right, purchase this power for future to turn, turn into a golem for 10 seconds. Slower, heavier, able to break blocks by standing on them. Takes 25% less damage. I like the sound of all those things, but uh, I think I'm kind of going on strike here, bud. I am not shopping. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let my dollars do the talking. I'm not shopping with you until you offer me a damn trait. Offer me a trait, and then we can talk business, bud. Until then, no sale. All right, so let's just try to sneak through here. Really, right now, I, I death feels inevitable. I don't think I've got enough XP available to me to level up. Uh, I do have a dwarf turret, however, so I'm definitely going to make best use of that that I can. Hopefully, he's going to do some work. He's not really doing much damage at all, uh, but he's consistent. He's hitting him for two and for two and for two and for two and... And he does a little damage at the end, so, you know, I'm not sad about that. Uh, don't come down here. Thank you. All right, we'll uh, throw another dwarf turret his way. Spam out a couple arrows as well while we're at it. We're at least going to get through this level if, we, uh, if our luck holds, and it does. So we're going to get a big old bundle of cash. And, uh, whoa, we're going to just uh, retreat immediately. Because he did all kinds of crazy stuff to that level. Okay, so dodging bullets, lots of fun. The goblin mech has a great big gun. Oh my goodness. Don't think I've seen a goblin mech before, so we may be revealing a new boss here. Okay, let's see. So did you uh, bend to the will of the consumer here? Are you going to sell me a trait? No, force blast. That sounds great, and I'd really like to buy it, but uh, I have principles, sir. I have principles, so I am not going to purchase from you. Flight. We don't care about flight. Uh, I've got seven keys. I'm not doing anything with them, so I might as well go ahead and free that ranger uh, and then spend some more keys over here. Because right now I'm just, I'm feeling underpowered, uh, feeling just generally like this run is, oh, that was a heartbreaking drop there. I didn't mean to, uh, to fall there. I meant to do a nice little crafty air jump, but that didn't happen. But I'm feeling like this, uh, this run is not long for this world. And so I want to do as much as I can to gain as much as I can before this run actually ends. So I'd be nice if that ranger would go down there and do some work on those enemies, but he seems to not want to. Uh, so I'm going to try to avoid these werewolf type guys, and I'm just not going to go over there uh, and check. Okay, now we're in trouble. Okay. And our pacifist run has ended, though it was probably time for it to end. So not sad about that. Can we jump past that without triggering it? Yes, we can. Okay, we got a thief down there. Uh, is that worth it? I've got three keys. It would take me two to free a thief. Mm, you know, what else am I going to do with them? Oh, I accidentally... Oh, that was almost heartbreaking. Accidentally triggered that alarm in the process. 
that almost got really, really bad. So hopefully that thief will stay alive long enough to pay out for us. We shall see. All right, so I can't shoot that guy, and that guy can't shoot me, so we're at an impasse here. And the thief has just gone off to do his own thing. I hope he's still... Oh, that's the mech. I hope he's still alive down there, and I hope he's going to pay out, but not holding out much hope. Okay. Okay, that's a, that is a mech, and he is just absolutely destroying me. Wow. Chaos Blade is dead indeed. That was crazy. That's the first time I've seen that enemy, and uh, that is one jacked up Space Marine Goblin. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So uh, let's definitely do one or two more runs here before we go. Robin Hook, not Robin Hood. That is his uh, cousin. Unfortunate name similarities. Uh, Witch Guard and Apple Weaver. Apple Weaver sounds, that sounds really intimidating. Uh, so what do we got here? Iron Foot on everybody. We've got good damage all around, and we've got some good life totals, so everybody's looking good. So we'll just base, uh, base our decision on weapon and on active ability. So we've got standard melee, standard melee, and a crossbow, fast strike and confusion, lightning and omni slash, and arrow and confusion. I haven't played with a crossbow in the series yet, so I'm going to do it. I, I don't really know how well it's going to go, but we're going to try it. So I've got 24 bolts. Let's give it a go. Hmm. All right, so we are going to invest in a little more damage here. Uh, not quite going to have enough to do damage twice, so we're just going to hold on to our money. Going to hold on to our money and hope to uh, come back and uh, talk to that gentleman after our next run. Shrine of Health, no thank you. You know, I maybe should potentially get a little more aggressive with some of the early shrines, but uh, I don't know. I just I don't necessarily see a good reason to. Again, we will try to keep our pacifist run intact as long as we can. And that will involve uh, a lot of careful planning of our routes and also, uh, you know, borderline cowardice, I, I guess uh, you might say. Uh, actually, I think we're going to end our pacifist run right here because I don't see myself getting through there or, more importantly, through here without taking any more damage. I uh, still have yet to fire my crossbow, so let's think about that. Uh, there we go. Cool. Uh, said I had 25 bolts. And okay, I'm down to 22 bolts now. 24 bolts said I had. Down to 24. It, it is nice to know I do have a, a melee weapon, so I'm not using bolts for everything. Uh, but it is nice. I got those bolts, so I can do that long-range kill and not worry too much about it again. The Shrine of Health, uh, you know, seems okay, but I just don't want to spend money. I'm at that early point in the game, or in the progression, so in this save, I guess I could say, uh, where I just don't want to spend money. Spending money just it, on little things like that, even though it's only five or six gold, it just seems like a bad idea right now. Green potions. All right, I think I've already got one of those. Basically, I just need to keep opening boxes and uh, finding your green potions. I think I can do that. I wonder, can I replenish my bolts? I know you can pick up your arrows... Uh, I, I've played as a character who had a bow, and I do seem to remember picking up my arrows. Uh, activated. I've had a lot of problems with that sh frost shrine, so I am going to just kind of avoid that like the plague. Eh, gems. Four enemies for two gems? Sure. Absolutely no problem with that. I think that makes a lot of sense. And I'm hoping that we are going to find the final green potion right here. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Nope. And I don't see a way back up to the top anyway, so even if we were to find the last green potion, it's not really going to matter. Uh, yeah, so let's try Confusion. We like Confusion. Get these guys, pit them against each other for a minute. And then let's hit a Fast Strike. And another Fast Strike. And another Fast Strike. And then let's stand over here in relative safety and pelt him from a distance with crossbow bolts. Oh, nice jump, though I don't think that was on purpose. I will still compliment you anyway. We'll go over to our Shrine of Restoration here. And recharge. So that did not refill our bolts. So I still don't know if we can actually refill our bolts. Uh, I, it's, it's probably worth my time to go back up and hunt for that uh, last green potion. I, I would almost bet it's right there. Uh, but it's not probably worth your time as a viewer. So let's move on. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will blow and kill your hero. What? Okay. 
So this sounds like the level where there are bombs when you sound an alarm? Or maybe there are just bombs. I don't see it. Oh, there is a, is that a, yeah, that timer at the bottom is counting off. That's the lower left-hand corner. That is the first time I've seen that timer ever. Uh, but that was an impressive explosion while I was gawking at the timer. Uh, quite an express, uh, impressive explosion. Uh, I did notice now there's a game timer down there. That's cool. All right, can I do business with you? You are still not selling. That is a great ability that I want to buy, but I, I'm not. No, I will buy traits from you and that is it. Traits, sir. Now, will your competitor here sell me a trait? He will not sell me a trait either. Okay, great. Great. Okay. And a wizard has been freed, and a barbarian has been freed, and we're doing well. We have a lot of allies, we have a shield, and we have a, a, another bomb that's going to explode any second now, so it's probably best to get as close to it as possible, uh, just as I suspected. I might as well free that thief. I don't really think there's anything uh, more to do here. Just spin the keys. It's becoming chaos. Uh, lots of alarms getting triggered everywhere. I'm enjoying getting shielded. There are bombs blowing up all over the place. The thief is dropping all manner of gold, and uh, I am just trying to survive. I am constantly throwing myself into harm's way when it comes to these bombs. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's stop for a moment and perhaps... Oh, can we not? Oh, oh wait, maybe we can. Maybe there's a way, maybe there's a way. There's always a way, right? Always a way. Get all this money as well. This is going to be a big money. Uh, ooh, the raven just right in on me. Just Did you see that? He just jumped right at me. Uh, so, yeah, again, I, I I mean, I. it seems beneficial to go through all of the levels. So putting, you know, putting a, a shrine here, a teleporter shrine here, just doesn't seem like something I want to do. Maybe when I'm more powerful, it'll make sense. But right now... Uh, I think I'm fine with doing levels, uh, you know, one and two, or, or one, every single time. I think it makes sense. Seems like a sound strategy to me, because, yeah, we're getting all of the gold, and all the XP, and all the possible upgrades, even though no one will sell me a trait, a good trait. More bombs. I guarantee you there's somebody somewhere who wanted to give me uh, money for killing three ravens, but... He was probably killed in a horrible explosion at some point. Okay, that door does damage to me. That's weird. Uh, yeah, okay. Confusion is pointless now because there is no one to confuse. So, uh, yeah, let's shoot a bunch of arrows at that guy. And, oh, let's fast strike a couple times. Oh, can I not? Oh, that's confusion. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. One more confusion, or one more fast strike. Uh, oh, hey, where'd you come from? Where did you come from? I don't really care, because you're dead now. Okay, back to level three. Endless desert, pacifist run, shall commence and shall end in moments. New power. Okay, purchase this new power for fusion years. Summer's a red dragon run. Dragon also consumes any... Ugh, you know what? Okay, fine. Fine. Y you got me with red dragon. You got me with consumes pickups, pickups, and if it hits a guard, Neonur collects 15 pick. Okay, yeah, weird. So it comes around, it lays waste to stuff, it pickups, it, it it picks up pickups, and then eventually dies when it picks up t 15 pickups. Sure, sure, sounds like fun. Oh my goodness, I didn't really mean to summon all that, but I guess I did. Summon it, not mean to summon. Oh, that was, uh, it, it, that was really just, I have no words for that, for what that was. Uh, four enemies to gain 75 XP, yeah, because of my location there, there was very little chance that the enemies would actually kind of spawn on me. So, uh, yeah, why the heck not? Oh, that's not a place I want to be. Uh, for some reason, I'm still preserving my pacifist run. I, I haven't picked up a peace orb in a little while, but uh, I guess it just makes me feel better to have a pacifist run intact. I, I don't know. Uh, a couple more orbs that we can deal with down here. If this guy will go away. Oh, okay, so that uh, boss teleports. That's a good piece of information to have. Although now he's way up there and I'm way down here. I wish I had a couple more keys. I could just sneak away. 
Uh, look, I can't, uh, I can't come up there, bud. So you got to come down here, Alpha Noel. There we go. Thank you, sir. All right, let's get over here and shoot all the arrows. So I did regain bolts at some point, though I didn't actually uh, notice the mechanic which allowed me to do that. But yay, I regained bolts, so that's good. Okay, at the end, at the beginning of every level, it seems like my bolts are refilled, so that's good. Well, level four, the Forsaken Tomb, we haven't made it, uh, haven't made it here. We made it, I think, once or twice before. So yeah, uh, if you see magma, don't jump in. The lava here will burn your skin, indeed. So uh, yeah, lava, great. And the flies, which you can't kill. And at this point, yeah, I'm just using keys. I kind of, I feel the end is near, so I'm using keys and just kind of moving on. And there's a trait. See, so I guess that was, so was that it? Was that the thing? You, you wanted me to buy something before you would offer a trait? Okay. Uh, but unfortunately, this is a trait I don't want to buy. Because as you can see, Bloodlust sounds great. It, you know, I played a Shaman in Warcraft. I love Bloodlust. I made it into uh, many a raid and Burning Crusade uh, simply to pop Bloodlust. Uh, but you can regain from 1 to 4 HP per melee strike, but you lose 1 HP a second. I don't like doing that balancing act. So as desperately as I want and need traits, uh, I'm going to still pass it up. So all that talking, <laughs> that whole last episode, lamenting my need for traits... And uh, when one finally pops up, I am too good for it. I turn my nose up and I walk in the other direction. Well, well, well. I guess you found out what kind of person I really am, huh? <laughs> A little melodramatic. That's what kind of person I really am. So we don't want to free him because he's just going to fall on spikes like an idiot. Like a big dumb wizard. Uh, but we're collecting more keys. I mean, this run feels good, even though I don't have any real uh, expectation that it will continue past this level. Uh, but I should be using, uh, when I have the opportunity, I should start using my bow. Uh, right now, I am desperately clinging to a pacifist run, uh, though with no orbs visible on screen, this seems like the time to go ahead and give up on that pacifist run. And I'm going to have to, because that raven wants my flesh. Which, you know, I can't blame it. I mean, I am witch guard. Ooh, okay. So that guy shoots force thingies that uh, destroy destroy me, <laughs> in addition to also destroying... Okay, good. We got a lot of stuff on uh, the level, so let's hit confusion. Oh, you still... I confuse the raven, and the raven still wants to kill me. That doesn't seem right. That does not seem right. Okay, so is there anything we can do? Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing we can do. I'm trying to contemplate a, a possible, you know, distance-based strategy to kill this guy, but uh, not really seeing one, so... I'm just gonna try to... Not, yeah, I... I was gonna say I'm gonna try to spam my uh, bolts, but instead I spam confusion. Didn't help me at all. Now I'm dead. Yeah. There you have it, folks. Vertical strike. Vertical strike. Vertical drop. Because I wanted to fast strike. Vertical drop heroes HD. Another episode in the books. I am enjoying it. I am really enjoying playing the game. I'm really enjoying the series. Uh, it is definitely one of my lowest viewed endeavors to date. I get that you guys don't uh, perhaps get this game on the level that, or not, not get this game. I don't want to insult anybody. Uh, that you don't enjoy this game on the level that I enjoy it, but uh, I enjoy it. And I'm going to keep making videos of it until you guys start to love it as much as I do. All right. I have been Big Dave. And until next time, take it easy.